Hey, Michael. Hey, Jess. Last day, huh? Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. Hungry? Where is everybody? Uh, you know, fishing. I love fishing. Yeah, I know. But they left before sun up and they won't be back till. What, so I don't get to say goodbye? Well, you knew they were leaving. I figured you'd say goodbye last night. I didn't know about the fishing. No? Didn't I tell you that? I could have sworn. Uh, sorry, man. So the van shows up and I go and that's it, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll be here. Hmm. Shane and Ben got a cape. What's that? Nothing. So what are we having for breakfast? Oh, I thought we'd have a great big surprise! I can't believe I fell for it, man. <laughs> Literally. Dorothy, was I in your dream too? <laughs> you guys are. Jess. Hey, before and after. <laughs> and this is something to remember us by. See? But especially it's to uh, remind you how far you've come. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. I feel like I should be out doing chores or something. <laughs> so what are you going to get done in the next five minutes? Nothing, right? Right. So write me, okay? Right? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. So what'd you think of the cake? I don't know about cake for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, well, special occasions. Yeah. Listen, I want you to have this. It's a list of telephone numbers, and if you ever feel like you need a drink, I want you to phone these people. They're friends. Promise to take you to a meeting. I've never been to an AA meeting. They're good people. And Pin's number's in there. I told you about him. He's cool. Yeah, and, and Rachel, I, I gotta call her about that check. Right. And my number's in there. If you have to, you know what it's like around here. I can't believe I'm going home. And there's some money, 40 bucks. It's not much, but it's enough for food for a couple of days if you feel that you can't stay with your mom. Well, I gotta see her, you know? I know. But remember, just because you've changed your life doesn't mean your mother has. And if it gets too much for you, I know. So long, Jess. Thanks, Michael. We met in Mr. Reed's office, but in case you forgot, my name is Michael. This is my place, but it's going to be your home for the next month or two, maybe more. This is Vic. Anu, Nanu. There's not too many rules here, but we expect you to follow them. We work hard here, but it's not without its rewards. Why, uh, just this morning, we had chocolate cake for breakfast. And if that's not enough for you, then twice a week, we go and... Martin. Martin. Do the tour without us. Right. He's one of my favorites. Name's Shadow. You ride, Martin? I think he likes you. Yeah.
Hey, 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 what's the matter? What's the matter? It's all right. Nobody's gonna hurt you here. It's all right. It's all right. Why don't we uh, go for a walk? We don't have to talk about anything. Just walk around and get a feel of the place. All right? I just forgot the day, eh? I wanted to do a welcome home thing. It doesn't matter. Welcome home, Jesse! Well, you haven't missed much around here, I can tell you that. Same old thing. Jeez! So, tell me about this, this wherever the hell place you were. Ranch, I, I liked it. Good, good. Well, you look good, that's for damn sure. And hey, like I told the man, it's better than prison. I said, Jesse just doesn't belong in no prison, you know? Yeah, well, I, it, it's real different, you know? But the guy, Michael, who, who runs a place, he helped oh, me a lot, too. God, did I tell you? Your Uncle Stephen passed away. It was awful. I had to go to the wedding myself. Oh, God. I said wedding. Jeez. Funeral. But unbelievable, eh? How did he, uh... I don't know. He just never took care of himself. Loser-rama. You know what we should do? We should celebrate that you're home. We don't have to, man. Are you kidding? My baby's home. I just got a check. You can cash it for me. And buy us something to celebrate with. I don't drink anymore, Mom. I can't. Well, I can, little man. So get your bum down to the liquor store for me, would you? Oh. I want to celebrate that you're home. I want to make a big deal, please. Those creeps will let you cash it for me, didn't they used to? Probably not. Well, they must have given you a few bucks when they sprung you out of jail. Yeah, so. Well, you know what I like. Buy me something fancy to celebrate with. Surprise me. <laughs> okay. I think that guy doesn't ask for your ideas in this early. See you later, Mom. You bet, Jess. See you in a bit. He's going to see me sooner or later. I want to do it right. He's going to get to keep bouncing. I'll take it back. I don't know what you're worried about. He's just a damn kid. What kid doesn't want a father? You know what I think? No, I don't really care what you guys think, but uh, you want to know what I think? No. 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 <laughs> sure we do. Yeah, you want to know? Yeah. Yeah. Can you open your mouth and actually say something? Hey! <laughs> women do not talk to me that way. You respect me, all right? Respect. That's what I think. How do you make a gelding again? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Mario, let me get this straight. Respect is everything. Right. But not everybody deserves respect. No. You have to demand it. 
Do you respect me? Yeah, you demand it. Oh. Um, but what about Patty? Or any woman, for that matter? You want to know what I think? Yes, Mario. My father told me that God put women on this earth for us, you and me. For us? No, Goomba, you, like a man. My father says that women are put on this earth for man's pleasure and for man's housekeeping. Oh, God, you are like some little zit or something, and somebody should just pop you. Patty. I had at least a dozen Johns exactly like you. And you know the best thing about them was? They were over. Three seconds. Hey, time me. Hey, you know, now, the one thing that we do have in common is fathers and mothers, and, and parents define a lot of our values. I hate my parents. Yeah, well, sometimes we try and act out the opposite of their values. But you see, the thing is, as you grew up, your parents wrote their story for you. But the thing is, you can change it if you want to. You can change your story to whatever you want it to be. I'll get it. No, no, keep going. I've got it. Hello? Uh, where was I? You can make up all the stories, blah, 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 woof, woof, woof. That's right. And what if your parents can't write in English? Michael. No, not right now. It's Jesse. He said it's important enough to interrupt. So. What he does, does he? I'll be right back. Jess? You gave me the money just for food, right? Well, that depends what you need. Well, all I'm saying is that I don't think that I should spend the money that you gave me on booze. I don't think you should let me. All right, I don't think you should. Sounds like you already made up your mind. <laughs> My mom wants to celebrate, you know, like me coming home and everything. You can't do it, man. I know. I can't go home, Michael. Well, maybe not today, but just decide for today. Just one day. I, I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't have called. I know what time it is, and I know you're probably in group and everything, right? Yeah, and the group misses you, but this is important, too. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I... Have you still got Pin's number handy? Yeah, yeah. Should, um, maybe, maybe I should go by and see him. Yeah, please do that. He's looking forward to meeting you. Okay. All right, well, you, you're busy, so, uh, bye. Hey, Jeff. And he kept saying, show me some respect. And I said, how? And he said I was stupid if I didn't know how. But I didn't know what he wanted me to do. I wasn't trying to be stupid. But he hit me anyway. The mother was nice. She would stop him sometimes, but she would always ask me why I couldn't figure it out. That all the father wanted was a little respect. If he just told me what to say, I would have said it. Nobody here's gonna hurt you, Martin. That's what they say every time. Okay. All right. Yeah, no problem. You do that. Okay. Bye. You pin? Yeah. And you would be who? Jesse. Jesse, yeah. Michael's friend. All right, I'm gonna find some time for you today, okay, man? 1117, pin speaking. Listen, man, I said you do that. You call the police. We just do what we do. We help people. Yes, we exchange needles. I don't know, what's your son's name? Is he a junkie? Intravenous drug user. Then we don't give him needles, man. If he don't use them, what would be the point of giving him? No, I'm not being a smart ass. I'm just trying to tell you that we don't go around handing out needles to little boys in playgrounds. Excuse me. I help you. He must uh, have found no. Him. I'll come back. Pin's busy and I just came by to say hi anyway. Well, Pin's busy. I'm not. Say hi to me. I'm Kevin. Well, obviously I have hi, my number. Jesse. Right. Michael said I should come by here. Michael. Dr. Michael. 
Michael Terry. Ooh, big time references. You're gonna go places around here. How about a cup of coffee? He's not gonna be long. Come on. So what's your story? Ah, I gotta find a place in Penn City to help me. I just left the ranch this morning. I see her leg, huh? <laughs> yeah, both of them. And actually, they're not so much hurt as they are missing. Ah, oh, jeez, sorry. You walk real good, though. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's just about, it's about 20 years ago. I was drunk, as usual. Out driving with a bunch of my so-called friends. No seat belts. Anyway, I'll make a long story short. They had to amputate. And that's booze for you. Hey, Jesse? Look at this. Pin off the phone. It's a miracle. I put him on hold. For you, oh great one. Meet you outside in a couple of seconds. Okay. Thanks for the coffee, huh? Yeah. Hey, boss. A couple months ago, I heard you tell another boy that he lost his legs a completely different way. Well, they were my legs. So I can tell any old story I want. <laughs> Regular one-man army, man. How much room we got left up there? Just keep it going. I can't find Martin's file anywhere. Well, that's because they lost it. What? That's ridiculous. I'm just going to call Rachel. They said they'd probably find it, and they'd send it along later. But if you can find out any information at all about him in the meantime, at least someone somewhere in the system didn't have the heart to send him out in the street. We know that he's shy, that he's First Nation, and that his father beat him. No, we don't know that. Yeah, he said... He said the father, the mother. The father could have been a, a foster parent or group homework. You're right. Or it could have been his real father. All we know is that he was found wandering around the street, blasted out of his mind on glue or gas or something. What could that be doing to his brain? Destroying it. That we know for sure. Who wants to go for a horseback ride? <laughs> Michael says you're the coolest guy he knows. Yeah? <laughs> well, Michael, don't get out too much. Oh, I appreciate it anyway. Hey, no problem, you man. No problem. But listen, I can't spend the whole day with you. My partner has a doctor's appointment and I'd like to, but I can't, you know? It's okay. First, we're dealing with priorities. <laughs> yeah, you need an address. Can't get more than one welfare check without one. Well, I want to get a job, right? Yeah, you need the address still, you know. Don't matter where. You know, if you look on the interview and you say, right now I'm living on the street, what's he going to say? No job. Aye, nine times out of ten anyway. Well, this is the place. As you can see, it's not Buckingham Palace. Well, I've never had my own place before, so... Well, this is a big day for you. First day out, first room in house, first dealing with the coolest guy Michael knows. Yeah, man, you're moving up. Good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, how many times I gotta tell you to keep this cat out of the Here we go. Best room in the building. I should know, I used to live here. In this room? No, the one below. Closest on the floor to the bathroom and the phone. Check it out. Five star, deluxe. It's cool. Well, it's a start anyway. Mostly hookers live here. Some of them bring their work home, if you know what I'm saying. But keep your nose out of the business and you and them will get along fine. And another thing, don't let your friends know about this place. It's the worst thing you can do. Check out the view. You like the view? This place is made for you, man. Anyway, I got to keep moving today. So, this is the deal. Your first week's rent is paid for. All right? One week only. And after that, you're on. Got it. I know you do. Remember, Michael's friends are my friends, and you know where to find me. Thanks, Pam. Oh, and one more thing. 
You're gonna hear some scratching in the walls. It's just little mice, okay? Cute little fuzzy mice, that's all. No rats. Well, I used to have a white rat when I was little. Yeah? Well, we don't need to worry about you then. Irie, Jess is safe. Anybody hungry? Yeah. 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 Right in there looks like as good a place as any. Okay. Let's stop and have lunch. Here, Mom. Thanks. You two look like you're getting along pretty good. You've ridden before, huh? I want to keep going. Yeah, all right after lunch. No. Mark, lunch first. Martin. Martin, get down. I'm not going to let you go, Martin. No! You want to go after him? No. No. Let him go. I was in the city for a couple, you know, a little while. No way. A couple of months. Wow, man, because I've been asking everybody where you were, right? I said, where's Jesse, man? I'm like, nobody knows, dude. It's like, you're gone, man. It's like aliens came and just, like, sucked your brains right out, dude. <laughs> hey, you seen Johnny, man? Oh. God, you don't know, do you? He died, Jess. No. Yeah, like two weeks ago or something. Oh, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> tell me about it. I saw the whole thing, you know. We were really wasted, right? And we just stole a couple bikes and, oh, and this big truck just... Oh, God, I was just looking for him, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, he is gone, man. Gone. Hey, but Nigel's here. Do you want to look for him? I don't know. I... Come on. Nigel said that you were in jail. Not. Yeah, but he said that your mom said that. Yeah, well, what did I just say? Well, then where have you been, man? Listen, I'm thinking about Johnny right now, all right? I mean, I'm looking for the guy, and I found out that he's pegged out. I don't feel like talking about other things. Hey, no problem, you know? I, I understand that you two were good friends. I understand. But I tell you, you know, when we find Nigel, I, I think the three of us should get wasted or something. Kind of like a toast. Johnny. Maybe. My fault, sir. Sorry. That's where you're going. Oh, man. Hey, kid!
Jeez, you idiot! Oh, oh man. Oh, I wasn't ready, man. I was not ready. You could practically see him coming, man. He was begging us to do it. 30 bucks, yes! Woo! Yes! Shut up! Yeah. Shut up! What? Jeez. Oh, ah, uh, here you go. No. Come on, go ahead. What? I'm straight, man. I am straight. What do you mean, straight? I'm straight. I'm straight. Oh. Man, I can't believe we just robbed the guy. I can't believe this. Oh, come on. The guy's rich. He doesn't care. Besides, how are we going to party without a little bit of this, man? We're not. I quit. I quit. What's your problem? Weird. Listen to the silence. The silence is still full of sounds. Sounds inside your head. The sound of your thoughts. The sound of my voice. You hear it? Right. So now I want you to imagine a big volume control inside your brain. Like the one on a stereo. I want you to turn it slowly down, down, till the vocal fades to a whisper. The instrumental fades down like the end of a song. How about that? There's another sound. Turn it down, too. There. It's working. Concentrate. Hello. Oh, just a minute. It's Jess. Yes. Michael, I think I better come back. Jesse, we talked about this. Listen, one of those numbers I gave you is a, is a guy named Harvey. I got his answering machine. I'm telling you, I think I better come back. I'm not ready for this. You are ready. Jesse, you feel different. Yeah, I feel different, all right. Because you are different. You're the one making the choices now. Listen, man, the day is more than half over. You're, you're, you're almost there. So tonight, when the day is over and you've made it, I want you to call me. All right. I'm sorry, I shouldn't call, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm glad you did. But tonight, when you call, I want you to be able to say, hey, man, the day is over and I made it. I made it through my first day. What do you think? All right. All right, tonight. What time? Whenever you know you've made it, whatever time it is, but it's got to be before midnight, or we're talking about tomorrow, right? Right. Okay, man, hang in there. Thanks, Michael. away so what you wanted me to do Martin uh, you want to join the group it's nap time I'm just kidding uh, it's meditation I thought you'd be a natural
Jesse's a nice kid, isn't he? Yeah, seems like it. Where'd you put him up? West Vista Hotel. A nice enough dump for a first place, I guess. Who's paying for it? He's covered for the first week. Uh-huh. So go ahead and take it out of petty cash, all right? I can handle it, you know. Please, Pin. Let me be nice, too. We all want to be just as nice as you are. So please, give me a chance. Okay, you talk me into it. Thank you. Because, Michael, I am concerned. Aren't I allowed to express my concerns? You've expressed it. Aren't you hungry? Aren't you concerned? Yes, but if I didn't eat every time I was concerned, I'd starve to death. Michael, he just about ran you into a tree. I could be standing here talking to a man with, with, with no face. No face? I meant you could be seriously hurt. Uh, no face would hurt. Yeah. My point is, Michael, you didn't respond. I mean, you didn't do anything. I mean, what, what's, what's Martin going to think? That he, can, that he can get away with everything? <sighs> I'm not going to punish him, Eleanor. I'm not going to treat him like every other white man he's ever met. We don't know a thing about Eleanor, Martin. Eleanor, right now there's at least a hundred Martins out there, and I'm not exaggerating. Kids that were taken from their families by a social worker who decided that their parents were unfit, and they bounced them from foster home to foster home and abused them and abandoned them. And that's what you think happened to Martin? I don't have to read his file to know he's hurting. So his father beat him, or someone beat him. Sniffing glue beat him. It doesn't matter where he came from. He's got to believe that he's safe here, that he belongs here. Okay, but what if we get a file on him tomorrow and it says he's got to go back to his foster parents? Wherever he came from, he's not going back. Okay, after you. Come on, you guys. We gotta eat the chicken pot or, or the sauce caramelizes. Yeah. Michael. Michael. Uh, well, I guess we just see without him. Do I smell chicken? Mm. Yeah, my uh, chicken. Uh, chicken a la Ben Martin, you're in for a treat, man. He may not look like it, but he's a gourmet chef. Don't judge a book by the cover. Uh, uh, uh. All the best chefs are men. Hey, lady salad, please. please. Can you pass me the milk, please? Can I? Yes. Yes. Jesse! Oh! Yeah. But hey! <laughs> How many pieces you got? Three. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> One <laughs> for you. Yeah. <laughs> One for you. Mm. Mm. And one beautiful piece of chicken for me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. Thank you. Mm. Don't we miss you, Jesse? <laughs> See, I told you, miss you, man. We all missed you, pal. <laughs> Everybody. What I miss, Nige? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so how was jail? I wasn't in jail. Hey, stupid. I was with you, man. Don't you remember? You punched a cop in the face. Don't call me stupid. I was there, man. What did you get? Like, uh, juvenile detention? <laughs> <laughs> when are you guys... Go somewhere. We just want to party with you, Jess. We just want to say welcome back, man. Yeah, welcome back, Jess. I don't feel like it. No, really, go ahead. Hey, man, where'd you get the money for all this stuff, huh? I just want to be alone, all right? Okay, whatever you say, Jess, really, man. Not. <laughs> and how much money you got? I'm still hungry. Nothing! Just leave me alone, all right? Get out of here! I don't know you guys anymore. Great movie. I cry every time. I cry every time you make me watch. Okay. Free time till lights out. So Martin, this is the time of day where you can do anything you want till lights out, almost. <laughs> you can talk, read a book, sit outside, look at the stars. Can I stay here? Well, all the guys over at the bunkhouse wouldn't want you to miss anything. I, I, I just want to stay here. Okay. You know, I don't know too much about you, uh, where you came from. Uh, I'd appreciate it if but you may... Can I watch the movie again? You won't have time to see the whole thing before it lights out. That's okay. 
Sure. I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. Up for a game of cribbage. Yeah, sure. Okay. Play for sardines again? Again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. What color? You want red, right? Red. Blue. Uh, white. Oh, okay. Winner deals. St. Pierre be returned to his designated group home as soon as possible. Martin!
don't want to take you away. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I want to go. I want to go. Don't make me go. If you don't want any company, I understand. That's fine. I was just in the neighborhood and I thought you might like a sandwich. No, I mean, yeah. Thanks. I don't got any chairs. Ah, don't worry about me. You hardly had time to decorate, right? So how you doing? I'm okay. It's good. You look okay. It's hard to do, isn't it? Go out by yourself, get a life off the ground. Oh, here. Ham and cheese. Interested? Great, sure. Now remember that the, the second day is a little easier than the first. And the third day is easier than the second. Good thing. Thought all I had to give up was the booze, you know? Yeah. Didn't know you had to give up everybody that went with it. Dr. Michael didn't tell you that. He told me. I just didn't believe him. So? So? I guess I'm alone. And what am I? The Invisible Man? No. I mean, what do you want? You got a guest here, kid. Oh, which reminds me. Do you have any great poupon? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm all out. Why don't you go to bed? I'll stay up with him. A hangover from sniffing gas is supposed to be a nightmare. Well, do you want me to relieve you later? Do you take the morning run? Okay. Well, what do you think happened? I mean, I thought he was just getting used to being here. Something about his father. We'll ask him tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Michael. Nice. Believe it or not, no, I wish you did. It's midnight. Yeah. I made it. Right on. Good for you, man. Kevin at 11.17 is going to take me to a job interview tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. The big man himself. He must have made quite an impression. Yeah, well... Thanks, Michael, for everything. I won't bug you anymore by calling you all the time. I forget it. I want to hear what happens with this job interview, all right? All right. Bye. See ya. <laughs>